welcome again so today i am going to keep my promise you know in the first lecture uh, on introduction to blazor i have shown this razor markup for a dialog component so i told you that it can be nested with another component that is the index component and this is the code for the markup for the dialog component which is nothing but it is a razor uh, file which has got a div tab and within a div there is an h1 which has which holds the title at the rate title so at the rate is actually a razor markup which is uh, which signifies a server side code and at child content now what is this child content now let's complete this code now here you can see that this at code segment which is a server side code it has got a parameter attribute and it has got two public properties in one is title and another is uh, child content which renders a fragment now this child content it has got a on on the click event of uh, yes button there is a button on click of which it actually loads the it triggers the on yes method and on yes method is console dot right line right line right to the console in c sharp yes button was selected so this is all about the dialog component right so it renders um this um console dot right line statement in 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 our case because it is not a console application it will not execute this it will not write this uh, console statement but i have given my own rendering so i will show it in a bit okay so let's go to the next part now this dialogs body component or the child content and the title are provided by the component that uses this component the component that uses this dialog component will provide this child content and the title on yes is a c sharp method as i showed to you that is triggered by the buttons on click event now blazor uses natural html tags for ui composition html elements specify components and it tags attributes pass values to its components properties now in the following example there is an index component that i will be using that uses this dialog component as a nested component so the child content and title are set by the attributes and container of the dialog element so this is the dialog element so dialog elements title attribute is blazor so it will show blazor and this is the content of this dialog uh, element is do you want to within italics learn more about blazor okay so when it is rendered this dialog is rendered when the parent is accessed in the browsers when this index.razor file is um, browsed it comes up with hello world welcome to your new app blazor and do you want to learn more about blazor now this is in italics and if you click the yes button it should end up with that console dot right line statement but since it will be a web application so console dot right line doesn't hold good here so i have given my own implementation in a bit so i will show you how i did my implementation of the entire dialog component and uh, its uh, uh, rendition in the its nesting in within the index component so Uh, let's create a dialog dot razor. This is my file. So I will right click the pages folder and click on add. Click on a razor uh, existing item, not a razor page. So. so i have opened the add new item dialog on this project and i click the razor component so by default it is component dot razor so i'll make it dialog dot razor so this is a dialog component for me and it comes up with a shell of a dialog component which uh, h3 
dialogue and add code within um, this um, curly braces it's empty now i have to fill up this dialogue component so i'll get rid of all this stuff which is now unnecessary or rather i'll let this code part be there so let's start writing so within within an end div tag i have got an h1 h1 and end h1 and h1 has got a title at the rate title which is still not available so i will get there in a bit that's why it is showing the squiggly line it doesn't exist in the current context we will settle everything in a few seconds or few minutes rather now here i will create a paragraph tag and in this paragraph i will uh, create i will actually put a message which is still not there at message okay so this one so these two at title and message are not there so that will come from the code section okay so we'll be there in a bit now i have got a public property title okay because that title will come from public property and that is a string so this will be changed to a string and uh, this will be known as title okay and so this one now see that squiggly line is gone because it now sees the title as a public property and this is a parameter okay so this is a parameter parameter attribute rather so i have got another public property also with a parameter attribute parameter and then this public property is of type render fragment so render fragment and then this is you can say this is child content with this will be nested within a parent component so child content okay so let's inspect it for a second what it is go to definition and you can see that you know this comes under the namespace microsoft.asp.net.co.components and public delegate so this is a delegate actually it represents a segment of the ui content implemented as a delegate that writes the content to a microsoft.asp.net.co.components.rendering.render tree builder okay so it is of a type delegate render tree builder that class that provides for methods for building collection of render tree entries okay so let's get back now all that is left to write is there is a i'll create a string private string private string now message now this is initialized as string dot empty empty string to start with and then finally the on yes method so private void on yes okay now on yes in this on yes method because if you see the original documentation here it was written um console dot write line as i said that console dot write line is now good because it's not a console application so i will get back to my implementation which is pretty simple actually this uh, i will fill this assign this message variable as message equals yes button was selected and then 
this message variable will be called and shown in the paragraph. So yes button was selected. Right. And then in the index component, all I need to do is to call this dialog. So I'll get rid of this increment amount from the previous lecture and I will create a dialog. I will include this dialog. Dialog, you can see dialog title. This title is okay. So title. Why is this showing small? Okay. Dialog. No, it should be actually string title. Okay. Dialog. This will be big T title equals blazer and close this and before closing you want to write do you to and then italics learn more Now this italics and italics tag and end italics is shown just to stress the point that this is within the dialog. This dialog tag is pretty much behaving like a standard HTML tag, like div tag, span, and any other standard HTML tag. Okay. Once it is written as a component. Okay. So that's it. Now let's run the application and see the fun. Now here there's one thing I forgot to uh, write that is the child content which is uh, a render fragment. So I have to include it here. So add child content. Now within that child content that is there is the button. So button and then on click event at the rate on click and what is what happens on click on click this messages this method is triggered so on yes okay so on yes and then before closing the button I will write on the button yes exclamation mark. Now this completes the project. So now I will run the application again. Now you can see that this is rendered. Do you want to learn more about Blazor? Yes. Yes button was selected. So that's what I wanted to show you. Thanks for watching.